So what we're going to do now is we're going to make this guy flash as well. So we're going to first cut it. So I'm going to press right here. Frame, 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 arrow, frame, S. Arrow forward, S, arrow forward, arrow, arrow forward, S, arrow forward until we are completely done. Yeah. What is happening guys? My name is Alex. Welcome. Wait, it's not Monday, right? No, that, that right, that's right. It is Wednesday. So welcome back to this new video, guys. I'm going to just take off my trademark because that's every for every Monday. But it is Wednesday, so that means a brand new Vegas 14 tutorial. And in this video, guys, I'm going to show you guys something that I haven't shown you guys before ever on my channel. Almost five year existence of just Alex Halford. There has been no video like this whatsoever. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create the following uh, shooting stars uh, meme. Roll it. So I'm going to show you guys how to make that just like that. So I'm going to also um, explain in detail how to create this, with that, how to add the effects, how to make it float, how to add the music. So let's, I would say, make sure to smash the like button down below already and I would say let's get started. So as you can see right here I have a dropkick fail I downloaded from YouTube and what we're going to do, we're going to uh, go and position uh, when the guy is flying. As you can see right here, we're going to make this kind of guy flow, float around the screen. So what we're going to do is re when we are going to browse through the clip, we're going to pause on where the guy is in the sky, I would say, right here. So as you can see right here, what we're going to do is we're going to make this guy fly or, or float around in the screen. So when we just landed on the exact perfect frame, we're going to press S. Oh shit. We're going to press S. And I'm going to go, and then we're going to go about uh, three or four frames further, and then we're going to cut. I'm going to, we're going to put those aside for a second. So as you can see, this clip is around, is a couple of frames long. What we're going to do is we're going to just cut them all up. As you can see, right now we have around three clips, three really small clips. And what we're going to do is we are going to mask this guy out. So I'm going to delete the audio because we don't need that. So we're going to press U, and I'm just going to click on the event pen crop icon then this box pops up and right here you want to mask this guy out so what we're going to do in order to do that is we're going to click on mask icon at the bottom then we're going to pick the create create anchor create fucking hell then we're going to pick the anchor creation tool we're going to click on that we're going to zoom in a little bit and right now we are going to start masking this guy out so now i'm going to speed this up with some music because this takes quite a while so i'm going to knock i'm we're going to shut off the camera i'll speed him up and i'm going to just mask this guy out also the, the two other frames just for the sake of this video otherwise this video is going to be 15 minutes long looking me like looking at me staring at the screen so i'm going to speed up the video right now. Alright guys, so as you can see the first frame is cut out, so now we are going to do it also for this one and this one. So it's going to be one movement, as you can see, when that's how it's going to look. But I'm going to mask it out, I'm going to mask also the second and the third one, so I'll catch you guys in just a minute. This is the second one down, now the third and the fourth one.
Okay guys, so now that they all are cut out, what we're gonna do is we're going to copy them and we're going to just paste and paste and paste until they are long enough. Press Ctrl C and press Ctrl V until they are long enough. So let's play it back and let's see what it looks like. As you can see, this is how it looks. But it's going to it's way too fast. So what we're going to do now, now that we have cut them out, is we're going to go to the media generators. We're going to go to the solid color and we're going to pick the green and we're going to put that underneath this guy so we can cut this guy out later on. So as you can see right now, we are going to make a new video track. Uh, I'm going to place the green underneath it. As you can see, like so. Now the guy is just flying on the green. What we're going to do now is we're going to render this guy out. So I'm just going to place it right here. And I'm going to just select the entire clip. And we're going to go to File, Render As. And we're going to firstly render out this clip. And I'm going to call this Part 1. Now I'm going to go to 720p. And I'm going to just render this out. And it's already done rendering. Now we can just delete this part. As you can see, we can just we can just remove it. Then we're gonna go to the folder and we're gonna drag in the part one. So as you can see, this is our rendered out guy flying. But this way it is way too fast. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, hold control, the left control, and we're gonna go to stand on the outside of the clip and we're gonna drag it all the way. So as you can see, awesome and nice and slow. So now what we're gonna do first of all is we are going to just. Uh, remove the green background. So we're gonna go to video effects. We're gonna scroll down to the C until we see color correct uh, chroma key. Sorry, then we're gonna drag it on top of there. Not chrome blur. Nope. Color chroma key. Drag it on top of it. Now we're gonna click on this little bar. We're going to click on the little pencil so we can pick the green. And as you can see, there is our guy. Um, flying transparent so what we're gonna do now is we're going to make this guy flash as well so we're gonna first cut it so i'm gonna press right here frame 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 arrow frame s arrow forward s arrow forward arrow, arrow forward s arrow forward until we are completely done what we're gonna do then is we are going to make this guy flash so as you can see it it, it is splitting it up in a lot of clips but it's going to take some time now and we are going to make this guy flash. So I keep pressing S and the arrow forwards to make it to cut it as you can see until it's completely done. Two hours later. Then we are going to add different filters on it. So as you can see we have like I have no idea how many um, like little clips. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add uh, like the co the color corrector onto it. So we're gonna go to this uh, video effects color corrector, the secondary one. Now we're gonna start applying colors onto this guy. So as you can see, it makes it this color. Then we're gonna go to color curves. We're gonna make we're gonna put this one on the second frame. As you can see. Uh, this one then we're gonna pick uh, a yellow tint on the third one as you can see and we're gonna increase the contrast on the fourth one bright and bright on the fifth one and now we're gonna just completely cover it up until the guy is flashing so also i'm going to just keep forwarding uh, i mean like speeding up the camera until i'm completely done so i'll see you guys in just a minute until i applied all the filters on there so i'm gonna just go ahead and do this so i'll see you guys in just a minute i can't believe Okay guys, so I only did a few, excuse me for that, so because it takes way too long. So what we're gonna do, is, you can see, if I loop it, this guy is also flashing. So we're gonna also render this out again, and we're gonna click on render as, and I'm gonna call this part two. Click on render, and now we can also remove this part, as you can see. Now we're gonna also drag in the part two, which is going to be uh, this one, but we also need, I'm sorry guys, we also need a green background. Let me just go back for a second. We also need a green background again, so go to media generator, solid color, and just drag the green on uh, underneath it, as you can see. Now we're gonna also render out this part, and I'm gonna call it uh, part two. As you can see, right now you can delete this part. If I drag this guy into the timeline, it is actually green 
and the guy is flashing. So let's loop it a couple of times. This is how it looks. So right now we are going to uh, add in a couple. And we're going to also render out those looped parts. So I'm going to just remove the fades from the clips. Then we're going to press it here. And then as you can see, this is how it looks when, the, when he's also flashing. Then we're going to also render this out, render out as part three. Now this one is done rendering. We can start deleting this one and we can we can add in the backgrounds. So if I'm going to part uh, drag in part three, as you can see, we're going to start animating this guy. So first of all, we're going to go back to video effects, uh, chroma key, default, uh, press uh, the green again, as you can see, like so. As you can see, this is this is this is how the guy is looking. He's flashing. As you can see, now we're gonna make this guy move across the screen. So what we're gonna do is first of all we're gonna start off with going from uh, the top right corner to, until the left bottom corner. So we go to video effects. Then we're gonna the first position is is drag this guy outside of the screen. Then we're gonna make a keyframe at the at the end. Then we're gonna um, put this uh, square on the opposite side. And this is how it looks. As you can see, the guy is flying by. And now I'm gonna add in a different background. So let me just drag in a little background that I have on my computer. I would say like a, a galaxy or something. Okay, the camera shut off. I don't know where exactly, but I'm but I'm sorry, guys. So this is how it looks. As you can see, the guy is flying by. And that is how it looks, guys. You can also make it go on to different pictures on different galaxies from different uh, lo uh, locations, from the top left corner to the bottom right corner, from up to down. You can you could choose whatever you want. So, and also the last thing we need to do is add in the music. You can also find that download link in the description. And I'm going to look for the drop. I'm going to make a nice fade, as you can see. Now, obviously, I'm just going to loop this part to make it a little bit longer. But this is how it looks, guys. So that is how to do it guys, this is how to make the shooting star meme, it is that simple, so I want to thank you guys for, this, for the continued support, and I hope this video was helpful to you, if not, make sure to leave me in the comments down below what you guys are not uh, getting about this, but it's really simple, you just want to go ahead and do everything I showed you guys from masking, it takes a little while, that's why this video was pretty long, but that is it for the video guys, thank you for the continued support, make sure to smash the like button down below for my videos, and I will see you guys tomorrow for a brand new NIC tutorials, I was on Thursday, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Just Alex Helper.